सो हेलो लर्नर्स वेलकम टू द आई आई टी मद्रास स्टूडेंट कम्युनिटी चैनल टूडे वील बी सॉल्विंग द आई आई टी एम ग्रेडेड असाइनमेंट बट बिफोर दैट सब्सक्राइब अस एंड ज्वाइन आवर चैनल टू गेट फुल एक्सेस एंड ऑल आवर लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स सो नाउ लेट्स बिगिन Greetings everybody. In this session, we'll be solving the graded assignment one of computational thinking, week one. So let's get started without making it delayed further. <coughs> Now coming to the question number one. Uh, question one, two, three together share some data set, which is the scores data set. So let us solve it. Uh, I mean, let us solve the question one after the another. This is a given pseudo code for this particular problem. <coughs> Arrange all cards in a single file called pile one. Initialize variables a, b, and c all to zeros. That is what is present in the second point. If pile one is empty, all these are very basic steps. And now coming to the point of updating a, b, and c. When does a get incremented by one? A gets incremented by one if the total score is greater than two fifty. Right. In such in that case, a becomes a plus one. And now coming to B. If total is in between two hundred is less than total is less than two fifty. In such case, B gets incremented by one. Now coming to the C case. If total is less than two hundred, then C big then then C gets incremented by one. So these are the separate cases under which we'll have to build uh, the values of a, b, and c together. In order to solve this question, we'll have to use the scores data set, which has been done internally by the team. So hereafter, we'll be providing the answer directly, which you can submit. And the main point you have on upon which you'll have to stress is that if you observe these two points, the common point from a and b is that. One is greater than two fifty, and one is less than two fifty. So, in this particular question, we will have to neglect those scores which are equal to two fifty. These should not be considered. So, apart from those scores which had two fifty, if any one had so, the answers would be uh, A is the value of A is six, B will be sixteen, and C is eight. these are the answers which have been uh, got internally according to the scores data set that has been provided by it madras so this is about the first second and third question now coming to the fourth question a following procedure is is, is executed using shopping bills data set what will x represent at the end of execution this is x it is a multiple choice question so we will have to stress more upon MCQ. That means only one will be correct among these four. <coughs> Step one: arrange all cards in a single pile called pile one. A, B, and X. Always remember this point. Please make a note of the variables which have been initialized in the beginning itself on a rough on a rough sheets. Which makes us easy. Which makes the process of tracking its values very easier. If pile one is empty, then execute step seven. This has to be kept alive, or this has to be remembered. If the shop name is S V Stores, so what happens if the shop name is S V Stores? Then what we do is that we add. Total bill to a. A is a plus x dot total bill. And we will have to increment b. So what should happen from this uh, from this criteria, which is present in line number five? What what understanding can we develop, or what can we what inference can we get from that? The variable called a stores the total bill amount from S V stores. 
and b stores the number of bills of a, of s v stores right so divide a by b and store the result in x that means a by b this is nothing other than total bill by number of bills right so what what is this resembling to this resembles to the average formula or the mean in mathematics so it is average of total bill from sv stores so this is about fourth question and now coming to the fifth question the given information may have some mistakes with respect to sanity of data how many rows are there with no mistakes so we'll have to check only those rows which are with zero mistakes card number 5 this is correct name is akil this is also right onions uh, vegetables or food for quantity 98 this is perfect because 4 into 98 is 392 maggi vegetables or food 2 into 85 this is a mistake right let me highlight only the mistakes with red pen 2 into 85 is not 85 it is 170 so the line number 4 is a mistake uh face wash toiletries this is also perfect 1 into 100 is 100 even the category also good dust pan it is 1.5 it cannot be 1.5 right it can be only 1 2 3 so on so therefore this is also a mistake milk dairy or food this is perfect so here the total number of entries are 7 so there are two mistakes in this table that means the correct answer is 5 So this is about the fifth question guys this uh, with this we are ending the part 1 video and the rest then the rest of questions will be discussed in the part 2 video thank you for watching this please do like and subscribe this channel for more updates